Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you how I prepare a canvas and prepare my drills ready for diamond painting. Um, and hopefully you'll get some tips from it that'll maybe be useful for you. So bear with me while I just get this fantastic lady and the tramp canvas out of my box. I did ask everybody on Facebook and Instagram which canvas I should do next and it was between this one and Winnie the Pooh. And strangely enough, there was one vote in between and Lady and the Tramp won by one vote. So this is one, the one I'm going to do next, which I absolutely love. Okay, so bear with me and I'll just put it out the box. Oops, that's some drills coming out there. Okay, it's a lovely picture, this. I can't wait to get it done. I'm pleased this one was chosen. Although I do like Winnie the Pooh as well. Okay, look at that. Fantastic canvas. Okay, and we have a lot of drills. <laughs> I'll put the drills out of the way for now and I'll show you how I prepare a canvas. There are a few ways of uh, diamond painting and what you do on your canvas. Some people just do all of one colour at once. Some people just do little squares at once. Some people like to start in the middle and work out. Some people like to work on the edge and just do a row at a time and work all the way in going from a row to a row. Now, I like to use my cover sheets and I'll do that in a second, but I'll just show you one of the ways that people work with the um, plastic cover that comes on the diamond painting. So there are things called cover minders and these are a few that I've just made myself. <laughs> As you can see, we've got Scotty Dog ones and flowers and things. They're just literally little buttons that I've uh, just put a magnet on the back of. I don't know if you can see that. And the best way to use these, which one shall we use? Oh, we'll use Bambi, look. No, we won't. We'll use the hedgehog. We like the hedgehog. Okay, or uh, we'll use a flower, seeing as it's... For a romantic meal we'll have a flower okay so what you can do then is whilst you're working on your canvas so this plastic if you can see that doesn't keep flipping back so every time you lift it up it suddenly springs back is put a little cover minder there and oops just lift this up put your magnet underneath and now that's holding that plastic and as you go along, you can slide it along and it'll stay in place. And they're actually they're derived from needle minders. So when you're doing your cross stitch um, or you're sewing, you get like little metal needle minders so that as you finish, you just, because it's magnetised, put your needle on there. And we've started using them onto diamond painting as well. So something else that's crossed over from uh, the two crafts. So yeah, that's my little needle minder there. I'll just take that off. Okay, I see there are lots and lots of shops on Etsy that sell these, but as I say, I've just made a few of my own from some embellishments I had. And obviously I had to have Scotty Dogs. Look, these were just two badges that I've turned into cover minders. Just used uh, Pin Flare glue from uh, the lovely Chris Christine, Princess Pin Flare. And uh, yeah, I've just done all those for myself. Okay. They tend to be more on the smaller canvases if I'm getting annoyed with the plastic. Or another way that you can do it is by using washi tape. And what people do is put the washi tape down your section. That way. I'm not going to do the whole canvas, but they would literally section the whole canvas out into little manageable pieces. And I'll just do this top piece here so that you can see what I mean. Okay. and then they would just work on this piece and do, in doing that what they do oops which is the best way to do it is just literally cut the plastic along the piece of washi tape like that and you can either take it off completely or again use your cover minder there um, and just do this piece and as you're halfway through it if you want to you can just then cover it back over and then once that piece is done, that piece of plastic is cut off and that bit's done. And then you would put some more washi tape and diamond paint that part. In fact, you can even use um, the same piece of washi tape here, look. You could literally then just put that 
into the next section there. So that piece is done, that's all diamond painted. Cut down the next piece and work on the next piece and do it that way. So it's really up to you how you prefer doing your paintings. These are just some ways that I have seen other people do. I have tried them, but I must admit, I prefer to actually take the plastic completely off because if I start diamond painting and say I'm doing this section and suddenly I look across here and I start seeing these numbers here, these letters here, sorry, then I'll start wanting to do that bit. And then I think, oh, well, I'll just do the next bit. And you end up just coming out of your square and, and carrying on. And you don't really get anything done because you're just, well, chasing diamonds, I suppose you'd say. Um, so, yeah, so that's just a couple of ways of preparing your canvas. As I say, I'll take that off. And I'll show you what I like to do, which is to completely take off this plastic. I don't like the crinkling either. Um, and to be honest, if hubby is watching the telly and uh, I'm sat diamond painting, then he does get annoyed at the crinkling. <laughs> does make me want to just scrunch it up a bit more and annoy him even more. Not at the moment, unfortunately, while he's still in hospital. But uh, yeah. Married life is fun, but I like to use these, they're like really sheets, they're a little bit like wax type paper um, and I just cover my whole canvas with these, okay, I just overlap them slightly and then, oops, that's a bit that I've been doing on smaller bits, look, I think that's from my advent calendar that we did at Christmas and uh, yeah, they are reusable so you don't have to worry about them being thrown away. And we'll just cover this whole canvas. Oh, look, that's annoying. It just quite doesn't quite reach there, but not to worry. I've got plenty, so I'll just keep going. Let me get some different ones out. They've all got the numbers on still from, uh, from Christmas. Okay, how many can we get down? It doesn't have to be exact as long as it is covering, completely covering your drill area. Let's just go from this bottom side here. Okay, yeah, so it is three deep. As I say, I'm not overly neat when I do this because what I tend to do, I'll show you in a second once I've got them all on, is then just do one square at a time. And I can't see what's underneath the other ones, so I'm not worrying, oh, I'll just stick that diamond there and I'll just stick that diamond there um, because I can't see it. Cover these over this way. You'll tend to find that these are available a few places. You can use parchment and you can use, um, oh gosh, is it grease proof paper? I'm not sure which one it is, but whatever you do, uh, whatever paper you decide to use, please just double check that just possibly in a corner or on an old canvas or something that you're not going to use, that it will come up easily. Okay, so that's my canvas prepared now. And then what I will do is start, say, I don't know, we'll start in this middle one. So I will take that off. And then I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit wonky. So I line my lines up so I can just see all of my lines there and all of my drills. Actually, I've not done too bad on this. Uh, that one's a little bit wonky at the top, I'll do that. And then I would just literally work on that square and just go through all my colours um, until that square is done. And then if I think, oh, well, I've got a little bit more time, I'll work on my next square and work whichever way you want. I tend to start in the bottom corner and work my way up um or work my way across or however you feel like doing it it really doesn't matter it is up to you but it just then keeps you you know just doing a small amount it's not so daunting as well if you're working on a really large canvas and say you've not done one as big as this before let's say this is a 40 by 50 um then you know you think oh my goodness where do i start but doing it this way you're just doing a small little chunk each time and it's not quite so daunting and you'll find how quickly it goes and i find when i come to an end of a canvas that i'm doing that's say this size that i feel quite bereft <laughs> i don't usually enjoy doing it so much and you think oh no it's like 
coming to the end of a good book you think oh i've loved doing it and i love the end result but i wish i was still doing it so that's when you can go and get another one and um, there are ways you can number them and randomly pick out numbers if you wish um that's what we did uh, for the advent calendars at christmas and just did one little square at a time now if you do find you've started on a square and then you get called away and you can't finish that square and again um obviously if you've got drills on sometimes these little um cover papers won't stick so well because there's diamonds underneath and it stops it sticking quite so well just use one of your little cover minders and then oops just pop that under there look that's it and that will just hold it in place and stop the dust or in my case dog hair millie hair <laughs> getting onto your canvas okay so that's all done now ready to start diamond painting can't wait can't wait just uh, move my little cover minder oh Okay, so we'll pop that out of the way. That's all prepared and ready. I hope you found that useful. Um, as I say, you'll do whichever way is easiest for you, but that's the way that I like to do it. Right, look at all these drills. It is a big canvas though, so it has got a lot of drills. I'm going to christen my um, new crystal art uh, storage container. Okay, so let's have a look. Oops, just pop those out the way as well. And I don't need my washi tape anymore, so we'll pop that out the way up there as well. I am sat next to shelves, by the way. I'm not just dropping everything on the floor. <laughs> okay, I love this case. It's great. Makes you look very professional. <laughs> okay, so we've got all your little bottles there, ready to be labelled and done. Now, what I've done on the back of the canvas, if you remember... Um, it was, I've just taken the edge off there, there was the legend for you. Oops, it was that way around, look. <laughs> I've just cut that out. And because I like to keep these, I like to keep everything, that'll go into my little um, diamond painting log book. I've uh, scanned it and copied it uh, on my printer. So I've got a copy of it. And what I'm going to do is put that through my Zyron sticker maker. Okay. So we'll pop that through there and then these will all go on my little bottles ready. Okay. So what this does, it just puts sticky um, on the back of the stick on the back of the legend and then the sticky around the edges then just comes off. Oh, my nails are terrible at the minute. So and there you are. So there's sticky still a little bit on there. Well, it's tacky, it's not sticky as such. Pop that in the bin. And then, as you can see, we've got a ready made sticker ready to go on our little bottles. So I'll just snip these and get them put, cut on the bottles. So if you put the sticker in the middle, then they're easier to just peel off because you've got your little end there. So just cut through all the way, but don't cut through the paper. And I like to do it this way because it keeps the uh, DMC number as well. And when I'm kitting down, if you've seen any of my kitting down videos, I do like to uh, put everything into DMC order. And I love my new storage. It's great. I've uh, kitted down a couple this morning. It's just so much easier when there's a bag for every single one to just put them away. But I think this one might take me a while. So it might be a while before I'm putting these away. Um, I do tend to, as well, while I'm doing a, a larger canvas, um, I do tend to do, say, cards or little projects in between. Just so that, I don't, well, I don't get bored diamond painting. It's uh, something that I really enjoy doing, but it just varies things up a little bit. Okay, so we've got down to Z there in capital letters and then we've got a b e and f in small letters there okay so i'm just going to number these tubs they just go across okay actually i'm going to number them this way i don't know why i always start at that end i think i it just must be the way my brain works <laughs> it seems to work back to front 
and I am right-handed and I always seem to start on the left with everything. It's very strange, very strange. But uh, hey, we'll see if I, let's get these on. Um, while I was getting everything out today to uh, get this uh, diamond painting ready and to start uh, my little video, I had Millie helping me. Uh, she was sat looking at the canvas and she's like, well, hang on a minute. You've got this canvas. Oh, it's that one. That's seven nine eight. It's the next one. You've got this canvas, and I'm sure there's a jock in Lady and the Tramp. Where's Jock? So she sat next to it. So we had Lady and the Tramp, and well, Millie, but she was pretending to be Jock. <laughs> I'll insert a photograph so you can see. She's, she does like to be in, and always likes to know what I'm doing. Um, we've had cat encounters today. There's been a, a cat in the garden. It wasn't Thomas. It was a different one today. It wasn't our little uh, uh, deaf cat. It was uh, another cat. It looks a bit like a tiger. I think it's maybe one of those uh, Bengal tiger cats, you know, with all the really deep sort of tigery markings. It's got really long legs and it's got a really loud meow. Goodness me. It was uh, sat wowling in the garden and she... Millie goes out and she's like, how dare you be in my garden? What do you think you're doing? So, there was quite a bit of kerfuffle. I bet the neighbours love us. <laughs> so, at the moment, instead of being on my feet here while I'm doing this now, she is guarding the garden and is sat on the window ledge looking out. Okay, so that's all our pots prepared. So now we need to get our diamonds in. Oh, let's get started. So we need to start off with 154. So let's have a look at these diamonds and see where we are. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see where we are. They're in alphabet order. So that's the second half of the alphabet there. So this must be the first half. Let's have a look. Okay, so right. We have letter A. Um, to do stand my little bottle. They're just lovely these. And my tray there. Which last on the in there? So double bubble in case I spill them everywhere. And uh, look at that. That's all of those in there. And then I can get rid of that packaging. Oh. One escapee. So that's the first one. Three, one, two, which is B. See, these are the other way around as well. These go from A to B that way. So possibly that's why I start going that way. Just a thought. <laughs> Just following along with these. Okay. So what's the weather like where you are today? Sorry, typical British, isn't it? Asking about the weather all the time, but... We are quite um, weather orientated because we never know what it's going to be like here. And uh, it was supposed to snow today. I think it has snowed in a few places from what I understand. But we've not had any snow. Oh, it is bitterly cold and it is very, very windy today. But it's quite bright sunshine. So I suppose if you got out of the wind, it's not quite so bad. But uh, yeah, so that's... Oh, we're here today. Oops, oh, well, that one's escaped, so I'll leave that one as an escape here. Okay, and D. Oops. Okay, get these into your bottles. What colour's this one? 318. And somebody left me a tip actually um, on, on YouTube uh, saying if you pour it from this side of the packet it doesn't spill quite so much as if you pour it from that side of the packet which has the, uh, the uh, extra bit there where it's sealed which does make sense and I will try to remember to do that because as you know I am a spiller. <laughs> Right, next colour is E. Now then, we've got two packs of these, so we'll see how we get on with these. See if we can get one packet into 
I put in. And we certainly won't get the two, I don't think, but we'll see. This is a 60 container. You can get the 30 as well. So I'll probably use the extra bottles for extra drills. Okay. Take that one in. Yeah, that one's just more or less filled. So the other one, what I'm going to do with that is use one of my spare bottles for that one. And I'll label it up with my nice labels. Or you can use your labels that come with it as well. Okay. So I'll use the labels that come with your storage. Okay, so it is E, letter E which is there, and it is DMC number 335. Okay, so I've got a spare one. I could do a spare um, copy of this, but I just think, you know, I, I won't, well, I mean, look, that's the first colour out of all those that I've done. So I'll put that as my spares there. And then once I've used all, all of these, then I will tip them into it. So I know I've got those spares. Okay. Right. Let's on to the next one. F, which is colour 350, which is a nice rust colour. Put the lid back on my pen, otherwise I'll be writing on myself. Now this is a very full packet, so we'll see if these go in the bottles or not. Let's see. I think it could be very, very full. Should have opened the bottle before I opened the packet. Silly me. Okay, let's just gently tip these in. Let's see, I don't want to really get... Oh, look, just not quite. I, I could squeeze a few more in, but I tend to find that if you put too many in, um, when you open them, it's too easy to spill them. So I'm going to put another label and use another spare container because we have plenty. There isn't 60 colours on this one. So that one is F and it is 350. Okay. You can put the other letter on as well if you like, but uh, I find you don't really need to. Let's put that on there. Okay. And then we can just put these in here. Okay. If I didn't have the storage containers uh, spare, then what I do sometimes is just use one of the little grip seal bags and put them in there and just label the grip seal bag or use the packet um, and put that in the grip seal bag. But I don't need to because I've got plenty of bottles. It's great, this. Got loads of them. So, one G. Okay, they should fit in. There's not too many in this packet. Okay. Just get those put away. Those. And I have got a bin next to me. Hooray! So I'm just piling all my rubbish up at the moment. And H. Okay, go to the wrong end again. Oh, this is the lovely lemony highlights. Lovely vibrant yellow, daffodil yellow for Easter. <laughs> oh dear. Hope you've all got lots of chocolate Easter eggs if that's what you like, or lots of treats. I got one, I like mint chocolate, so I got a minty one and it's very nice. But, uh, I've got a hubby one and I shall wait till he's home from hospital and then. You can maybe have his and enjoy it, hopefully. Okay, and I. Well, it made me laugh at the hospital yesterday. <laughs> um, I don't, well, I don't know how people wear masks all the time. I really don't. I admire um, all the key workers, the hospital workers, the shop workers and everybody that have to wear masks all day. Because it really does irritate my nose. I'm finding I'm getting all spotty underneath my eyes where it is. Um, and it really makes my throat dry as well. And when I was leaving the hospital yesterday and I was stood in the lift, uh, the lifts normally take about 13 people. And at the moment, you're only allowed four people in each lift. So um, we're all stood in the four corners of the lift. They are very big lifts because obviously they fit the hospital beds in and everything. 
and uh, I thought I'm gonna cough I'm gonna cough oh no well I coughed honestly the look I got you'd have thought I'd have um, pulled an Uzi nine millimeter out of my bag people just looked absolutely horrified at me and I was trying not to laugh because I thought it was really funny I, I tend to laugh at things that other people don't find funny that I find really funny <laughs> oh dear you've never seen people run out of a lift so fast in your life oh gosh hey ho the new life we're living with this uh, covid pandemic i don't know but yeah I was desperately trying not to cough and it's like anything else the more you try not to the more you think i'm gonna cough i'm gonna cough don't cough don't cough we'll be down on the ground floor soon i'll be able to get out oh no but, oh dear me i wonder if they all dashed off and got a covid test or something as they got out <laughs> Oh, sorry, you've got to laugh. You know, it's been a horrible situation. Um, and I am quite worried, really, uh, with COVID still being around, hubby being in hospital, but they do seem to have lots of things in place. You know, you have to wear gowns and gloves and hand washing and hand sanitizer all over the place. So, you know, the hospitals are doing a really good job and taking it very, very seriously. Okay. So this one is two bags of M, which is 833. I think, as I said, when I did my uh, unboxing on this one, there are no three tens in this. So there are no blacks in this picture. They're all dark blues and dark browns. And this is the dark blue. So we'll see how much we can get in this one. No, we're not going to get all of those in there. Oh, that's going to make life interesting because we're going to need two extra bottles then. Hmm. Okay, so let's do two labels. Ah, unless the other packet isn't... Mm, let's see, maybe the other packet isn't quite as full. Let's get uh, one of the bottles out. See, look, I've started working from that way again, EF. Very strange. The things you notice when you're diamond painting. Yeah, that one's not quite as full, but it has got a lot in it so this one is an m and we need two and it is number eight two three i think i'll have to start using my uh, magnifying specs when i'm doing these because i really can't see very well at all and i don't want to put the wrong number on I'm getting pretty good at um, swapping out colours on canvases at the moment. Um, I've done a canvas of a Scotty dog and uh, its eyes just didn't stand out. So I've redone its eyes in different colours. So it must, looks more like a Scotty dog eye now. So, something I wouldn't have done when I first started diamond painting. But it's just like any other craft and any other thing that you do you get used to these things you, you know you get a bit more confident you get used to more what you're doing you get used to the colors and the uh, pr uh, process of it project <gasps> process of it and uh, get used to what you're doing so we're starting on our next strip now okay so where do we start on this one? one. Oh, so that must be at the other end yes okay let's get these done then your snake of drills let's get the pot open so much easier when they're in these long packets like this and they're all in order i do prefer having them like this and you can get those really little tiny packets oh, and you just have bits of plastic everywhere and then you just think you've finished and you find another one hidden somewhere you're still with me and you've not fallen asleep yet or if you have fallen asleep listening to me then feel free if i can help in any way i'm quite happy to do so <laughs> oh this is quite a full one as well okay this is r 
double check yeah 842 i do keep checking as i'm going along with these because it's so easy to just forget what you're doing and put them in the wrong one and oh they only just fit in there that's quite a full one all that depending on your canvas you can sometimes spot if you think you've got a color wrong um i have got one of those dmc color charts that tells you each color um, of each drill so you can sort of sometimes if you've put one wrong work out which one it should be i am supposed to be sticking the drills uh, next to each color as well but sadly i've not got around to doing that yet that's something else on my to-do list <laughs> It's a bit like an under Hendrix toilet roll uh, my to-do list extra strong and very long as they say in the adverts apologies if you don't have uh, Andrex toilet rolls I know what that is it's uh, one we have in the UK and it has a puppy as the advert and it's one of Millie's favourites she does like seeing the little um, Andrex puppy which is uh, a little Labrador golden Labrador and there she goes and sits and wags her tail at the telly. And uh, she does like him. She was a bit of an Andrex puppy herself when we first got her. She did go and, oops, scapies, uh, savage a whole pack of toilet rolls and have them all over. She thought that was really good fun. I think a lot of puppies do. I don't know what dries, draws them to it, I'm sure, but... Uh, they do seem to like paper and toilet rolls and things. Well, let's face it, anything that they shouldn't be touching. <laughs> okay. I've had an Amazon delivery this morning. And Millie ran out to greet him. The poor man looked absolutely terrified. Which was a shame because Millie thought he was wonderful. She just wanted to play. And... Uh, he obviously didn't like dogs. And, I mean, I, don't, I can't blame them going around knocking on doors. You know, you, you don't know what you're going to come across, do you? And not all dogs are friendly, I suppose. Some of them having a stranger knocking on the door um, won't be very happy. So, right, we need another label. So this one is X. Even I can draw an X neatly. Well, nearly. Three, three, seven, one. Okay. That one, and put that one back on there, and we'll put that there, okay, throw those away. Yep, they really do close well, these little pots as well, and they, they're not going anywhere. The lid's drop test, look, they're not coming out, as long as you've got your lid on properly, obviously. Don't do that. <laughs> and why? Why? Because I want to. Oh dear. Why? Now there's a question that most toddlers go through the phase of. My little nephew came out with one once. Said, oh look, there's a yacht, and it's like, why is it a yacht? Um. Um, <laughs> yeah, they always know which questions to ask and you start questioning yourself. Puppies don't do that, dogs don't do that, kids do that. <laughs> dogs just eat toilet rolls. Okay, and we're up to Z. And that means we've got four left, which are the four smaller letters of the alphabet, lowercase letters, sorry. Okay, so we have A. There's not many in that one. Lovely colours though. So you need your colours to make your painting stand out more. And give you that quality and that depth. Oh, look, that one doesn't want to go. Get down, get down. Oh. An extra bit in that one as well, I think. Okay, so and B. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was that gave me the suggestion, um, but it does work apart from when I'm spilling them all over. T. 
to uh, use the packet from the other end. Maybe I shouldn't have said that at that time as I'm spilling them all over. <laughs> okay, and these look very similar colours, but they are different colours. So let's make sure we get them the right, right way around. That one is E, and that one is E-T. E-T! Oh! No, I won't do the impression. I promise I won't do the impression. I'm dying to do it, but I'm not going to. Uh, I wonder if that's on this weekend. Usually bank holidays um, and holidays. We do seem to get E.T. on the telly, along with the sound of music and Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, all the usual suspects that we've seen lots of times, but you just can't help watching again. Okay, and last one is D. These are really nice quality drills and we've done really well for static as well. Sometimes you get a little bit of static but there's not been any in these at all. So that's great. And T. So that's that all done. Okay. Put the lid back on my pen. Throw that away. Put our stickers back in there so we can use them for another time. So we've got all our drills all nicely done in there. We've got our legend which I'll pop in there as well and we'll pop the trays in there for doing it and then we can just sip that up ready so we've got all our drills all nicely stored just carry away to wherever we want to go mine will be downstairs <laughs> okay and that's the canvas done so we're all complete and ready to diamond paint just need to get my pen out and we're all ready to go I hope you've enjoyed seeing this and it's given you some tips on what to do. If you've enjoyed it, please press that like button. And if you want to see a bit more and see uh, what I do in my next videos, then press the subscribe button and you'll be notified of the next one. Thanks for stopping by. See you all again soon.